<laughs> a pint-sized Minnesota man spent a hundred and seventy thousand dollars on a two-leg lengthening surgery. Okay, he put they cut it, put metal in his leg oh, to curse. make him taller. So Moses Gibson, curse. 41 years old, he struggled to get a girlfriend due to this five foot five inch frame. Uh, go, going to hold on, he Aww. turned to medication and a spiritual healer. That means he had somebody going, and the Lord will give you it. <laughs> and it didn't work, all right? So oh, he said he was- That um, didn't work? Praying didn't work? Praying didn't work, and he was subjected to heightism, <clears throat> where people are like making fun of him because of his leg. Heightism? So he bit heightism. Heightism, it's a word. Wow. Uh, so he started taking pills, went on the internet. So he, uh, the spiritual healer, which you know, told him he could do it if he put his mind to it, but medication didn't work. Dude, he spent, I mean, obviously, he got the money to do it. The painful, like, you guys saw, so you guys see how bad that hurts. But, like, what do you think, Adam? I'm going to ask both of you guys. Is it worth it, number one? And number two, do you have to tell the girl, like, hey, listen, I'm just giving you a heads up. This ain't what, you know what I mean? Did if the we surgery have, work? No, no, not, not that. Because, listen, if I'd, like, he to see, I'd like to see the yeah, pre show the before and, and post, after, Shamari. The before oh. and after. Okay, Adam's there you five, go. Five, five. All right. No, but he was small on the right. But look at, he's, he, dude. The picture had to be taller the on the right because he's <laughs> no, taller. But, no, but Adam, hear me out. What, what I'm saying is, are you ready for this? He's 5'5". Five, five. Let's say he gets a girl who's taller now. He's, he's, he's five inches taller. He's 5'10". You get with a girl, she's tall. And now guess what, Adam? You're in love. Everything's going good. He has money. You, you're about to have kids. You don't tell her, hey, listen, just letting you know. An Oompa Loompa might come out of your ass. You know what I mean? Oh, she, you might not have tall kids. Babe, our kids might come out. Like, can you get in trouble for, like, can you sue somebody for? I don't know. No. I think so. It I saw some. That shouldn't matter. But what, what I'm saying is, Adam, like, yeah. do you tell, you have to tell her. Oh, uh, I don't know. I mean, I, guys lie all the time to women. That's probably the last thing He's they're going to say. He's going to have scars. You know, She's I used know. to be six inches shorter but, than but this. But isn't she going to say, wait a minute, you have a bunch of cuts on your legs where you've been by a shark? No, it's the least of his words. You're huge. Look, I, I, I. I empathize with this guy. You know, they say like, you know, you can lose weight, you can get in better shape, you can make more money, you can develop confidence, can't really do anything about your height or your dick size or whatever. Yeah. You know, I ask women all the time, we just did model volleyball, like the 666 questions. You ever heard these questions? No, it's no, like, I love it. Ladies, what do you prefer? 666, a man who makes six figures, a man who's six foot, right? Six pack okay. or six inches. Yeah. <laughs> and 80% of the women will say, Six figures, six foot. First. Okay, no. first. And then they'll always say, well, I don't really need a dude that has got abs, whatever. Yeah. And you know what? If he knows what he's doing in the bedroom. Motion in the ocean. Well, I can deal with that. <laughs> yeah. But they're like, yeah, I want him to make money at least be tall. And that's the provider protector instincts that women basically are gravitated towards. Yeah. So if homie out there is basically, you know, he's, he ain't doing this to make it to the NBA. He's doing this no, to get laid. He's going okay? to get laid. So, I would have more respect. If you if he was like basketball is my thing and I want to be tall for basketball and I know like girls get surgeries all the time yeah and I but I feel the same way about those surgeries as they do about this surgery like I I date guys that are my height I've dated guys that are shorter for me it doesn't matter I get that most girls they want them to be taller like I get all that yeah but you shouldn't have to change yourself I feel so I just feel I just feel pity for him I feel bad that he felt he had to get the surgery however that's his choice his health is gonna be impacted because he got the surgery hundred seventy. Okay. Okay. Thousand At some point, something's gonna break. Something's gonna oh. get hurt. Okay, that's gonna impact and shorten his life to have surgery. Oh. I hope he's happy and good and good for him. I wish it was for something like basketball or instead no. of just for appearances. No. No. And you ready for this, Adam? He better keep every photo of him younger away because she's gonna be like, wait a minute. You look really short in these photos. Yeah, you know, I, I, when did you have your growth spurt? Yeah, I was 16. I went from 5'6 six to 6'0. Six yeah. When did you have your growth spurt? Yeah, I was 32 30. years old, bro. Shamar, well, what do you think? Well, next thing you know. Yeah. What do you hey, think? Man, everybody wants to improve, man. Everybody yeah, but, wants to get better. Shamari, but 170 grand on five inches of your height, that's... I that's know, bananas. Man. Insecurity is a hell of a thing, man. It'll drive you to yeah. do a lot. So, oh my God, that's, that's true. Nice. I mean, there's a whole true. space on the internet for insecure dudes. You see, you see, now, you see now there's dudes that are paying for like ab surgery. They got yeah, guts, and now it. they have oh, abs. Yeah. abs. So I think guys are real. I don't listen. Girls, obviously, women's looks, I think, are way more important to them than men's looks. But men do care about their looks. Okay. Yeah. And look, if this guy's got the money to do it, go for go it. Go for it, Hoss. Now, if yeah. you're drowning in debt. 
to yeah. basically add five inches to your life, but now you're struggling to make your credit card payments. Yeah. And now you're fucking have no money and you're just that broke ass six foot dude. Yeah. It's like, Ugh. now you got no money. Yeah, so it's like- you're broke, but he's tall. Yeah, exactly. Cause he, he six made, figures comes first. Yeah, no, he may sure. just want to uh, improve his options. Like personally, like I can say going to the big thing, right? Yeah. I can get hoes, yeah. but the quality of hoes, you know, situation. they go up oh, as yeah, you improve. Sure.